Tim Pierce is what drove him crazy last year. Wrong. Being crazy drove him excluded. What's wrong? Cougar Town's been moved to mid-season. Mm. That's never a good sign. Not cool, not cool, not cool, not cool. Hey, buddy. Hey. It's coming back in January. Six seasons in a movie. Six seasons in a movie. I found something that will help Abed. Abed, did you know that Cougar Town is an American adaptation of a 1990s British sitcom? Cougarton Abbey. Just been round Cougarton Chapel. I may be having an awakening. Come off it, Deirdre. You've only been having a butcher's at the choir, boys. <laughs> Better than nothing. Thanks, Britta. Can you believe that? <laughs> Hope you don't mind, Jeff, but I've got a new favorite show and I'm only on episode six. You guys... Blimey. The barristers foreclosed the Abbey. Fancy a drink, then? Oi, fetch us a... Hemlock. Um... <laughs> um... Britta? Why did everyone on Cougar Abbey just die? They only ran six episodes. That's the great thing about British TV. They give you closure. Oh. Ah! No, no, no. We'll find you a new favorite show. We'll find you a new favorite show. You are human tennis elbow. You are a pizza burn on the roof of the world's mouth. You are the opposite of Batman. Abed, all your friends are here. They want to talk to you. I don't get it. How is this different from the way he always is? I bet maybe this can be your new favorite show. It's a British sci-fi series that's been on the air since 1962. Britta, you've done enough, okay? Why don't you go start a ruiner's club? Oh, wait, you should probably just ruin it. Well, then I'd be doing a good job because it's a ruiner's club. You ruined my analogy. Guys, look. Blimey, Inspector. Where have we wound up this time? The question isn't where, Constable, but when. Inspector, look out! Blog on! Hey, Randy Kate. Hey, Randy Kate. This is the best show I've ever seen in my entire oh life. Oh my god! He just needs some space. There. Now the table is good as new, and so is Abed. Britta, I'm sorry I was overprotective of Abed. I'll try and be more supportive of you. Well, here's your first chance. Helping Abed has inspired me to finally declare a major. I'm gonna study psychology. African-American friends. But the larger point is, maybe I'm not done raging against the machine. Any questions? Does two UNs mean there are two Earths? Uh, yeah, sure, two Earths. Parallel Earths in different galaxies or identical Earths in parallel dimensions? The latter one. Well, what does that say about free will? Abed, Professor. Right, yeah, let's begin. Switzerland proposes a peace summit. Good idea, Switzerland. And maybe at the peace summit we could discuss the possibility of opening a portal to Earth 2. Can we put a pin in that, Switzerland? Earth 2 is out there. Can't ignore it forever. Ooh, Chris. Switzerland is very concerned about Earth 2. Uruguay agree. Kindly request. I don't smell anything. Well, I just got it. Wait, why are you still here? I think they have figured out a way we can still win. Really? How? It's simple, really. First, we. Abed, what did I tell you? You can't just mumble nonsense. No one's cutting away. Okay, fine. Here's my actual plan. In down the road. I may have a developmental disorder. I have a developmental disorder. Star Wars, Star Wars, cool, cool, cool. Mm -hmm. You understand. Oh. The hair color concept intrigues me because it's how I distinguish you anyway. Abed, mm -hmm. you're a computer. Yep. You figure out a way to put us in our optimal pairings. Maybe we should just revert to our original pairings. But I thought you didn't want to carry Jeff. Oh, well, you just don't want to work with Shirley. <gasps> Maybe I need to take one. A test, not a penis. Troy and Abbott's new apartment! Hi! Come on, come on. Come on. Let me give you ladies the grand tour. Bathroom, kitchen, who cares? And this is my scale model of the rolling boulder scene from Raiders. With actual rolling boulder. Ooh. Yeah. Adios, oh. Oh. Pretty cool, huh? Tonight, we offer something far more than boobs and billiards. What? One word. Two syllables. Don't say charades. Yahtzee! Starting on my left with one, your number comes up, you go. Just so you know, Jeff, you were not creating six different timelines. Of course I am, Abed. Smells weird. I beg your pardon? Smells weird. What did you do? Abed, you don't ask someone a question like that. It's not dignified. I wonder what happened in those other timelines. Abed. There are no other timelines. Excuse me for being the only married woman in a group full of horny toads who sit around all night just making googly eyes at each other. Googly, googly eyes? eyes? Beer Are we 
Norwegian troll. Hey, what's going on in here? Here's a terrorizing troll because he's jealous we moved in together. You're the one who's jealous. Why would I be jealous? Because you're lonely and crazy. That really softens your personality. Pizza time! Oh. I wonder what happened in all those other timelines. You, you don't, don't have to put on the red! And the woman was screaming and screaming and the man got killed. Ah, bet. Yep. How did that story make you feel? Embarrassed. That's an odd reaction. It's it's odd. Odd. That makes sense. I'm turned on by how logical you are. I'm comforted by your shiny hair and facial symmetry. I hope you're as fertile as I am tonight. More. Hey, Bed. Why are you doing the whole song? You wouldn't turn the radio on at the exact moment of the most pertinent news broadcast. It's too coincidental. But I'll jump forward in time. Me and my partner are Top Gun fighter pilots, the best of the best. Oh, man, my drugs are wearing off. Who's got more? <laughs> Tron? What's Tron? Presenting the real life fairy tale of how Princess Annie was saved from bad neighborhood forest by woodsman Troy. Mm -mm. And Bebed, his emotionally unavailable unicorn. <laughs> Abed, true to form, has decided to do the weird thing. Abed is Batman now, Christian Bale. It's official from the man himself. Mm. May I have that back in? Thank you. And just to clarify, if you see this lying out, I'm still using it, so you don't have to take it to the kitchen, dump it out, and wash the bowl. Is this about your buttered noodles? I didn't say that. <laughs> All right, I think I figured out the viewing order. Original version, director's cut, director's cut with commentary, and then original version, cool down. Yeah, we'll see. Mm -hmm. I guess the only upside to this is it's brought us closer together as roommates. Something doesn't add up. If there was no forced entry, it had to be an inside job. We don't know that. And instead of taking cash, pharmaceuticals, laptops, they take what? My Batman DVD and one piece of oddly ornate Hebrew-themed jewelry? Yeah, they gave it. It's smoke, it's a ruse, a lie. Mm -hmm. I think I know what happened here. Well, not everybody's perfect, Abed. Batman, and I am. Well, Batman, on behalf of all of us that aren't perfect, can I just say... I'm sorry I broke your DVD. Apology accepted. But I wouldn't mention it to Abed. That guy's pretty ruthless. And that's coming from Batman. Hey, guys. Abed, where have you been? Troy, really? Guys, found something we could watch together for Christmas this year. The long lost 1981 Inspector Space Time holiday special. Runtime two and a half hours, and so critically reviled that after it aired, the creator had his knighthood revoked. Glee! It's like a drug that you use that turns pain into shoes and your shoes into dance! How's your piano still playing this song? Glee! I'll understand every scene because they'll sing what they mean instead of making a face! Kinda sore of Christmas on the spectrum, none of your business. to give one's constable a gift at the end of each orbital cycle. Oh, thank you, Inspector. <laughs> Blimey. A hologram. Mm -hmm. Let's activate it and view the performance. I try to find a way around and get behind your wall. I try to reach the top and find your wall. Mm. I, I think I got this. Everyone just come and relax. And behave normally. Ugh. 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 That's the noise that people make when they're offended in all the movies that Annie rents. Ugh. We do whimsified ourselves. Yep. We're normal now. Oh. Abed, Abed. Over break, Abed realized he could hire celebrity impersonators from a service for his own personal use. He's been doing it a lot. He's not hurting anybody. He just likes reenacting scenes from movies. It's unquestionably awesome. I question it. He spent New Year's locked in our bathroom with a bad Tom Hanks from Castaway. I'll bet it was the volleyball. Well, that makes sense. You guys, focus! Where's he getting the money for all this? 
Intervention? 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 No! You guys need to stop intervening. You seriously have a problem. We could actually hurt Abed if every time he faces reality, we dress up and play make-believe to mm -hmm. bail him out. Mm -hmm. Shame on you people. It's not our job to help Abed grow up. Abed doesn't need reality. Abed is a magical elf-like man who makes us all more magical by being near us. It's your femur bone. He needs some money. He's broke. Oh, okay. Laughter's <laughs> <laughs> the best medicine. What are, what are you doing? I'm challenging your entire medical establishment, sir. Not you. Are you mad at me? No. Cool. I was gonna go in the dreamatorium and play Inspector Space Time. Have fun. Abed. Yeah? Come here. I am mad at you. You said you weren't. We never lie. I know. We made a deal. October 15th, 2009. Friends don't lie to each other. I know. I lie. Because you don't like people who tell you what to do, and I don't want to be one of those people. Then don't be. I have to be. You have to stop running celebrity impersonators. Vinny was going to break both of your legs. I had to work really hard to help you. But that's what you wanted to do. Yes. But I can't do what I want to do? I guess not. Not all the time. Sometimes you're just going to have to trust that I know better about stuff. I don't know if I can do that. Then I guess you're going to have to trust that you're going to have to trust me. Well, I don't want to stop being your friend, so I guess I'll let you tell me what to do sometimes. Still best friends? Yeah. Still best friends. Always. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Hi, Abed. Hi. Where's Troy? In the other room. That's okay. There are many advantages to traveling by yourself. You can drive faster, change the direction, and the only pee breaks are yours. Are you real? Are you? This is really crazy. And inaccessible and maybe too dark. Maybe to them, but not to us. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Hot. Hot, hot, hot. We'd have a better chance of setting the record if we made this a blanket for it. You know, take less time. We wanted to make a pillow for him. I don't want to sacrifice quality for square footage. We don't need a world record to tell us we did something cool. But if we won, we might meet that dude with the curly fingernail. Shredar Chilal, not interested. I saw him on a talk show, he came off as pretentious. You should put the small ones in the middle of the wall won't hold the ceiling. Why do I always have to be your Reggie? What? I wanted to make a blanket for it, and you never even gave it a second thought. I'm not even your sidekick, I'm your underkick. I never said you couldn't do anything. If you want to make a blanket for it, that's fine with me. Thank you. Just don't make it part of my pillow for. Bitches is devious. Well, what are we gonna do here, guys? Is there a way we can connect them? You can't connect the blanket fort to the pillow fort and still call it a pillow fort. Even if you could, I'd rather see my work destroyed than compromise it. Great! Abed will destroy his pillow fort, and Troy will expand his blanket fort into the space. Everyone wins. Except Abed, but you know, not everyone can win. Is that what you want, Troy? For me to destroy my pillow fort so you can set your record? It is. Magnitude! Evacuate Fort Abed and prepare for self-destruct. Sir? Do it. We're done here. Pop, pop, Captain. Prepare to initiate Protocol Omega. Goodbye, Pillow Fort. You were a beautiful dream. More than a dream. It's here. Who are you? Someone who understands dedication to craftsmanship in the face of mediocrity. This world is run by the unremarkables. Don't do what you always do a bit. Don't corrupt the host to pacify the parasites. Ask yourself, what if I stop worrying about their acceptance of me? And his socially dysfunctional best friend turned bitter rival. An uncompromising tactical mastermind feared by all, yet unable to pay parking tickets or no left from right without mouthing the Pledge of Allegiance. Earlier that day, they begin... Con the war won't stop with First Blood Part 2. It will escalate to Rambo 3, which should really be called Rambo 2 First Blood Part 3. But the Rambo titles never made sense. And neither does war. Abed Nadir. Facebook status update. Hey, Dick. Read your dumb email. Really enjoyed it. Guess what? 
You may have been my best friend, but we both know I was your first friend. And what I know, but you don't know, because you have mental issues, is that you're never going to have another friend. Because, all caps, nobody else will ever have my patience with you. Troy Barnes, four-part text message. Guys, can we maybe watch a different movie or just stop saying that word six times per minute? What word? Late. Oh, uh, because I put his ex-boyfriend. Can you check my messages for me and tell me if he called? I don't think that's a good idea. What if my mother died? You guys are really talking over Blade. Nah, cool. Annie, subdue your guests. Annie. Boys night. I need help reacting to something. Hi. I secretly switched Blade's number in her phone to my number. So if she tries to get in touch with him, it'll come to me. That's diabolical. Yeah. Back to the matter at hand. <sighs> Y'all ever notice the difference between me and Troy brushing our teeth? I brush my teeth like this. Troy brushes his teeth like this. <laughs> I do. I do. I, I brush my teeth just like that. Oh. I can't go to Senior Kevin's. The manager and I are enemies. He said Die Hard was bad. He said Die Hard was bad. I know, buddy. Abed promised he'd show me how the Dreamatorium works. Today's the perfect day for it. But I want to... Abed, don't you think today's the perfect day for it? No. Abed? Is this a social cue? I am Inspector Space Time, and I know that which is unknown. How do you know Troy and Britta pairing up wouldn't destroy everything? I run the scenarios. I examine this stuff from every conceivable angle. Oh, and you can do that, but I can't? You don't have a patent on being a control freak, Abed. I kind of do. This is the Dreamatorium's engine. My thoughts are collected by this box, and everything I know about my friends is stored here. Both are distilled by logic and then recombined into objective observation. I am able to simulate any of the study group and even a half-accurate Chang in over 7,000 unique situations. Abed, it's cardboard tubes and a funnel. Well... He's fine. He always will be. People bend over backwards to cater to him. He's just extra sensitive in the dreamatorium. Why don't you take all your thoughts and your logic and add one step to the process? What are you doing? From now on, before you do or say anything, you're going to think about how it affects the people around you. We lower-functioning brains call this empathy. Abed, you know how you wanted me to tell you when you were being scary weird instead of cute weird? This is scary weird. Dr. Jeff, can you- Abed's been filtered out because nobody needs him. I need him. Well, you're not simulating. No, but this is. Oh! Meta, meta. It's Abed! I got an Abed here! Get him! That's it. I find you guilty of being Abed. You're under arrest! Can I just interject and say I don't know what the hell's going on? Abed? Abed? Yeah! I find you by turning into you. How cool is that? Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Tell me where we are so I can pretend to see it. We're inside a locker. It's where I spent a lot of time in junior high. It's a metaphorical locker. It's a place where people like me get put when everyone's finally fed up with us. My point is, your simulations are nothing more than anxieties. You're afraid you don't fit in. You're afraid you'll be alone. Great news! You share that with all of us. So you'll never be alone. And you'll always fit in. I could take up yoga. You have the body type. Now. I am Abed Nadir. And I don't know a lot of things everyone else knows. I'm hungry. Are you hungry? Yeah. I'll make us butter noodles. And... Actually, boys, I have a little surprise for you. Uh -oh. While you two were out playing blazer tag. That's laser tag with sport coats. I did a little extreme bedroom makeover. I unbunked your beds and got scrap fabric and... It's okay, buddy. We can put it back. We can put it back the way it was. It's, it's okay. It's a... Cut, Gary. It's a... I'm sorry. <laughs> Why don't we ask you a couple questions? Sure, I will. Britta, zoom in there. There's a clock on the wall. Eight plus two times five. Ten after eight. I'm gifted in other ways. Greendale and the school board. Greendale seven. See? Cool. Abed brought delicious police. Abed, what happened? Found your friend going through the dumpster outside the administration building in Greendale again. This cadet could use a lesson in intergalactic protocol. If this were Comic-Con, I'd take a bullet for that kid. But here in the real world, trespassing is a crime. We're sorry, officer. Our friend has been having a hard time adjusting 
to being expelled from Greendale. It's the number for a psychiatrist. What? No! Abed's not crazy. What does the dean get off? Abed? I'm Dr. Heidi. We're going to have a little chat tonight. You and I. How does that sound? I don't need therapy. Well, that's a perfectly normal response. Abed won't go to any kind of doctor on his own. We caught him last year trying to remove his own tonsils. Well, why don't you let me take it from here? You have to understand about Abed. He's usually, you know, adorable weird, like Mork for Mork. But since we got expelled, he's been creepy weird, like present-day Robin Williams. I'm not crazy. Well, Abed, I don't deal in crazy. I deal in help. Huh. So how long has Abed needed a crazy amount of help? All of this behavior started after you were expelled? been a ramp up. It's okay, buddy. Just a few more minutes and we're good until spring, okay? But it doesn't make any sense. Think of it this way. We get the hour back later in the year. I rented Tower Heist last night, and I will not spoil the end of it. Let me tell you, it was quite the hilarious thrill ride. That Brett Ratner, mm. he's a master at comedic action adventure. Mm. A master at storytelling. He's just a master at making movies in general. Well, I'm gonna say it. He's the new Spielberg. I have to go. You're a bad person. You're a bad person. Time enough at last to eat a sandwich. Though even he knew that this sandwich was nearer his last sandwich than his first. Hey, Bed, I'm trying to eat. He said, oldly. If anything, Abed's more sane than any of us. Yeah, well. well. And assuming that this group is for Abed said support system. I think I've heard everything I need to hear in order to make a decision. I think that Abed should be committed. You mean committed to his character work, right? Because he already is. Abed, show him you're Don Draper. Cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean an institution. You mean like marriage? I mean a mental institution. Ah, so do I. Will someone please help me lighten the mood? <laughs> Please, Mr. Doctor, psychiatrist, sir. Please don't send my best friend to crazy people jail. Relax, he doesn't have the right. Abed's not dangerous. Yeah, he's just unique, like a snowflake who gets bent out of shape when you mix up Star Wars and Space Treks. What Pierce was saying before he started sundowning is true. We can't just pass the crazy buck to Greendale. It could be a good place, too. You know what occurs to me? What all those great Greendale memories have in common? I was barely in them. They were all about Dean Pelton. That's what I've been trying to make you guys understand for the last two months. I keep telling you, we weren't expelled by the real Dean. Couldn't have been him. He loved us. After you squandered the last of your savings, I'll watch you ride penniless in the gutter through a telescope in the penthouse office of Hawthorne Tower. You can leave notes. The scheme is incredible. I have information on the following topics. Holy crap, where have you been my whole life? This is so cool. Where are your clothes? Pierce taught me poker. I'm not good at it. You still talking to this girl? Yeah. She only has three moods that you activate with basic patterns of stimulus. I've never felt this way before. Hey, Bed, don't get weird. Oh, I won't. She's not ready for anything serious. But she wants me to meet her family. My father is a blacksmith. Her father's a blacksmith. We were just saying goodbye to Abed. I'm gonna stay here in the village with Hilda and help her rebuild her life. Abed, she's a program. People have said similar things about me. Uh-oh, he's playing the Rain Man card. Let's bounce. I've got an inheritance to win. Abed! You remember Hilda. I live in the village. I love Abed. Did she just say your name? Yeah, if you max out a character's trust and affection levels, you can gain access to a front-end scripting language. Watch. Go, go, go. She can make babies for me. Oh, and I can't. I can't. Oh, Abed, but... Annie, let's find the Tin Man's heart later. Apologize for him. Oh, that's okay. He's family. Hilda, my love, I said I'd come back for you. All right, let's go.
Abed, what did he say to you? He said, I know you hate when people do this in movies. Sorry, I got emotional. Hey, Abed. This can't be good. Abed. I'm not talking to you because I'm not crazy. Think of it as inner dialogue. I'm reading the novelization of Chronicles of Riddick. Can you honestly tell me that's a saner decision? You're worried you'll go crazy without Troy. That's why you're gonna let Britta fix you, right? Because you think you're broken, you're gonna get diagnosed by someone who said her favorite superhero was X-Man. I'm a little scared. Things are bad. When the world gets bad enough, Abed, the good go crazy. But the smart, they go bad. Come on in here, let's talk about it. I think it's safer if I talk to Britta. I think it's even safer if I talk to her first. Ah, now we're getting somewhere. I think lame Abed sent you to talk because you're more equipped to deal with fear. That's the lame way of seeing it, yes. By the way, I'm so sorry. It doesn't matter, Abed. I should have never played therapist with you. I'll change my major just one more time. But you can't. You cured me. I mean, I'm not cured. I'm willing to admit I definitely need therapy. And you're the only kind of shrink I could ever trust. The kind with as little control over my mind as me.